For this problem, the force being exerted by the hydraulic lift from the gauge pressure is going to be the same as the force exerted against it from the weight of the vehicle. So if we're looking for the largest size vehicle that the hydraulic lift can support, then we want to set the weight of some vehicle of, of unknown mass, but we want to maximize it, and set that equal to the maximum force that the gauge pressure can exert. So remember that the force due to pressure is equal to the magnitude of that pressure multiplied by the area over which it acts. Since the area in this case is circular, we'll use the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi multiplied by the square of the radius. So from here on out, this problem is pretty simple because we're looking for the mass. So all we got to do is algebraically solve for mass by dividing, both, by dividing both sides of the equation by g. So the pressure multiplied by pi r squared divided by g, and that's the mass. So the maximum pressure is 17 atmospheres, 17 atmospheres, except we want to convert this from atmospheres into newtons per meter squared, since that is how our units work. b times 10 to the power of 5, so 1.013 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per meter squared per atmosphere, multiplied by pi, multiplied by the square of the radius, and the problem tells us that the diameter is 0.255. So half of that is what's being squared. And all of this divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. So if you put this into a calculator, then you get a mass of about 8,970 kilograms. And that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this, or donate to my Patreon. If you have a request for a future video, or a question about this one, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.